such a nice day. Madison, will you take a picture of us? Sure. Oh, let's go by that tree. It's yeah. so pretty. Oh, I haven't posted a picture on Instagram in forever. Oh, you need to. How long has it been? I can't even tell you. Oh. So how's this lighting right here? Um, right here? Maybe like two in the maybe shade. Like, yeah, two in the this shade. This is my good side, so you have to come here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is better. It's okay. They'll get my highlight. Yeah. Strive to look taller. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one's really cute. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we should take some for my Finsta. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Here, we can just do. Here, I'll go on this side and we can just do the selfie. Okay. Oh my gosh, those look really bad. It's so artsy. Oh my gosh. For the Finsta. is a finsta finstagram is a combination of the words fake and instagram it is a second instagram account where users can post any picture or video they desire these posts are usually funny or embarrassing and usually only close friends follow the account Less formal and curated than a real Instagram, Finces are a page for double chin selfies, embarrassing or wild videos, and other less than flattering content that people don't think fit their persona on social media. Our research focused on how women, in particular, use Finstas. We observed 15 female college students from the ages of 18 to 21. All of these women perceived their Finstas to be an outlet where they could experience the social media platform in a more authentic way. I feel like it's different for a lot of people. Some people have like spam accounts, which is just like them posting whatever, like it's a camera roll type of thing. Whereas like a Finsta is like, I don't know, it's like a, it's called fake Instagram because you don't want other people like seeing it. So that's why it's private. And you know, for me, I use it because I don't want to just keep like posting random things on my main and like it's like life updates and how I'm feeling. I feel like it's just like a way to release like feelings that usually, at least for me, I'll like keep it in. So I found that when I like created my Insta now that I was like actually saying meaningful things. I, I guess it's just more like, I don't know, it's kind of like having like an open like journal like where you can just, you can like say whatever you want and like it feels like people are listening when like even though we only have like two followers, <laughs> but I don't know, it's just kind of nice to be able to like post something that you like, you just, yeah, you just want to and like it's not being judged by anyone. Yeah, like even if it's just something funny, like you're not thinking like, is this funny enough to post on Instagram? Yeah, you're, you're just, just like, like do it, do it. Like, you like, just, are like, well, well, that's funny to me, so that's all yeah. that matters. Yeah, people I'm generally close with and would have a conversation with, like, every time I see them. Um, I feel like I like to use my main more because like I follow everyone on there instead of just like random like pictures because a lot of people I follow they'll post like a screenshot and like just the caption so I'm like scrolling through a bunch of pictures that I just like I don't know I don't like <laughs> but um, I feel like with my main I can like see everyone's pictures that like they're okay with everyone seeing and I kind of like that more and I feel like it's closer to my personality because my Finsta is like kind of like dull and like has screenshots and all that but my main is like bright and vibrant and like 
-hmm. it's like fun so yeah. I like that more <laughs> yeah. yeah on Instagram like on my real Instagram there's like it's like showing like just like the best of me like the best of like like how much fun I have and like how like amazing everything is and like being like witty and like cool and funny but like not too funny where you're trying too hard but like not like not funny like you know what I mean like it's just like there's just like this little like tiny like bubble of like it being acceptable and for my finsta it's like I don't give a I don't freaking care <laughs> yeah it's part is like having it serve like as a memory bank so like um i go on my fence like just to like go back to the memories of like the dumb moments i've had throughout college mm -hmm. um i know some people use it as like a more of a therapeutic thing just like letting out like their frustrations or like letting out like something like stupid they did but laughing about it later Yeah, yeah. I'll just like randomly post a picture and I don't really care like what I look like or edit it or anything but on my main Instagram like the lighting has to be good and like I can't look like that ugly. <laughs> yeah, I know there's like times where so I follow some celebrities and like I know that they face tune and like make their bodies like how perfect they're supposed to look and sometimes I'm like oh I don't look good in this picture like should I do that yeah. <laughs> like do I need to look like that but that will like sometimes also keep me from posting pictures I feel so I think it is a lot of pressure honestly if it was for me if it was just girls following me, I honestly think I'd be like, okay, maybe, maybe. But like the fact that like guys follow me, like honestly makes me nervous to post something like I did online. And so like about my eating, like I would be like, oh my God, they're gonna, you know, like just like, I feel like I'd be judged by it. Cause everyone else, everyone's putting out like their best, their best self, whatever that may be. And like, we're not always our best selves. Like we're not always having like a good day. That's probably why I only have like one post a month. <laughs> because like, I mean, you can't always be like living this like perfect like life. The trend of finstas has been growing quickly for years, especially with young women. From everyday Instagrammers to influencers, many finsta users believe their private accounts give them an opportunity to present fuller, more authentic online versions of themselves. Free from any judgment, Finstagram accounts seem to be a step towards reclaiming a sense of connectedness and authenticity online. They act as sanctuary spaces to explore a less filtered side of ourselves without everyone's eyes on us. For young females, and even for males, the pressure to mold to society's norms are huge. From who to be, how to act, and what to look like, Instagram tells women to be pretty, but naturally. Be sexy, not too slutty though. Wear makeup, but not too much. Be original, but stay trendy. Be clever, but sweet cool but effortlessly and do it all carefully because everyone's watching finstagram offers something a little bit different a space where women can be anything and everything a private space to connect and express yourself freely so be wild and risky contemplative sensitive and emotional curious and weird aspirational shocking and brave just be you insta worthy <laughs> oh wow Ha <laughs> ha